Alrighty folks, uh, we are back at the Panzer. So first thing to show you are our E34 540 drive shafts. So we got two of these guys and we have the matching hubs for them. Uh, so these guys will be a significant upgrade over the 520 half shafts. Um, and should be able to better handle the power from our Tesla motor. You can see here, just even looking at the hubs this way, uh, there's a lot more meat in them. Speaking of our Tesla motor, our subframe is nearing completion. Uh, we've got it welded up, both parts. This is only a stay bar here just to keep the shape in it as we were welding it up uh, we've got the holes drilled for the bo the bolt tubes we got bolt tubes here <coughs> so these guys will be going into the frame like so and we'll be basically passing through the uh, passing through here, of course I can't do it now I'm on camera. Basically they'll be passing through and then weld it up uh, so that we can bolt up without crushing the box section. So there's four mounts here. We have another four on this rear part which bolts in at the back and then picks up on the rear motor mount. Um, in the car We've got the boot area cleared out. Not a lot of light in here now, sorry about this. But we've got new cross brace made out of uh, 70 by 70 by 3 box section steel. We're presently welding that into the frame here. Um, we've got the holes drilled through the frame. There's just one of them there. Through the frame rails, I should say, for mounting the subframe. And in here then there will be another frame that will take the bolts uh, that will be coming up from the subframe. And once we've all this in, we're putting a false floor into the boot and the boot area will be pretty much returned to uh, use. So down underneath, uh, see if some of this will start to come out. So we've got, this is our rear brace here. So the one going across where the old spare wheel well would have been. That's all welded in beautifully here. Uh, we have a front brace here again, uh, welded in, and that'll be but we'll be bolting up uh, through that and up through the floor of the, the, the vehicle as well. Uh, got one swing arm just back on here temporarily, um, putting the two swing arms on there then um, when we're doing final fitting. Uh, we've got our uh, bracket on here in the middle to, uh, that also mounts the motor and the subframe to the cross beam. So there's a lot of strength going in here. Um, and then, let me jump out of here, not bang my head. Managed to bang some part of me. Um, so over here then will be... <coughs> so I'm still waiting on my coilovers to arrive. Uh, so we just put one of the E34 struts uh, back in just temporarily just so we can put the car back on its feet because it's going to be about a week before I'll be getting back here to work on it. Um, so I've coilovers ordered to go in here and we will be strengthening up the uh, strut mounts. We'll be bracing them from the subframe back up because these original shock towers would not have been uh, designed to take the weight of the vehicle. The weight of the vehicle would have been on the old spring seats. Um, 
which were on the bottom of the the spring seats were round about here so we'll be bracing this so there'll be plenty of strength in there and uh, so hopefully now we'll be able to get all this stuff into the vehicle today and then I am going to take our two um, drive shaft cups out of the motor and leave those drive shaft cups and our 540 uh, drive shafts over to my engineering guy who will basically then give us the ability to bolt up these uh, flanges onto a matching flange on our Tesla drive unit and that will be um, the drive shafts done and that will enable us to use stock 540 drive shafts uh, in this vehicle. Um, other kind of minor good news stories, we'll be able to use E31 um, handbrake cables with the, the E34 hubs, so that's good, new, good news. And uh, got a load of parts ordered now, so it's kind of a little bit of this now is going to be waiting on parts to come in um, as we start to piece the system together. Good. Okay, so our front half of our subframe is now in. Uh, we're bolted up to the chassis. At the minute we're bolting on four points. So here, back here, we have an additional four here. That will be going into this rail. Um, we have this guy going through the back of the differential plating here. So that's done. Um, Got our E31 struts just in temporarily. Uh, we're all welded up here on the back. Uh, very nicely done here. So we're gonna get the other swing arm in. Get the drive unit in. And uh, then we should be able to do things like measuring up the half shafts and put the wheels back on and drop her down and see what she looks like. Okay, the motor is now hung and for the first time we're going to remove the prop and let it hang in the car. Dave, will you be so kind? Oh my god. That looks like it was meant to be in there. And uh, it's not falling out on the ground yet. Of course, it'll probably wait until the, till we're gone here. But anyway. Holy God. <laughs> Got ourselves a Tesla powered Panzer. Well, the, yeah, the brake should still be on. Okay. Yeah, this could end badly. <sighs> First time back on the wheels after the transplant. She's down, Dave. <laughs> oh my God. You drive a car under that. I think you're gonna have to drive around with no bumper, are you? 
Kim, do, do you know in, in traffic sometimes you see some cars and you can just see under them? Do you know? You can yeah, see yeah, 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 yeah. Would you have some crack with that, like? Well, considering how crappy the bumper is, it's probably not a bad idea. Yeah. And we've got loads of, oh yeah, I mean, we got loads to go up here when you get the new coilovers yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Nice you know, and grab. the wheel spacers will bring that out 20 mil now, yeah, yeah. which is be absolutely... But even that, the car start doesn't sit... It's not too bad. The tension's missing the front, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, it will be about a week to ten days before I'm back at the Panzer here. Um, I've got some other stuff I need to do. And we have other exciting stuff on the way, but this is our main focus at the minute is basically electrifying the Panzer for the fourth time. Yes, uh, but you know, Tesla, because Tesla. Um, so we will see you in the next vi 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 video, video even. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Uh, see links in the description for my Patreon and uh, PayPal donations. And um, yeah, don't do anything too crazy. And we'll see you in the next Tesla video. Happy Tesla subframe building.